guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another two-in-one WWE action figure review on the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura and Bret the Hitman Hart. If you like what you see already, guys, and you want to grab these things, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. They also have many other action figures as well as Elite Series 69 pre-orders, Elite 70, and many, many more. So this is the second set of Ultimate Edition figures that we are getting, guys. The first set did come with Ronda Rousey and the Ultimate Warrior, and this time we are getting Shinsuke Nakamura and Bret the Hitman Hart. The, the first series was pretty fantastic. I enjoyed the crap out of them, posing them around and stuff, and I'm very happy to have, you know, a current guy in Shinsuke Nakamura, even though he doesn't get treated properly, and a legend like Bret Hart here in the collection with this Ultimate Edition. So spin it to the right, guys, and check it out. You do have a picture of both men on the sides of the packaging. On the back, you do get some epic shots right here. You got a great shot of Shinsuke here, Bret the Hitman Hart here. Uh, on the right here, we do get a shot of Bret there. That's clearly like photoshopped image. Um, this one may be real. I think that's from like WrestleMania 34, I do believe. And then you have these little bios. If you'd like to read it, you can go ahead and pause it now. You got some info over here on the left side of both packaging. And it gives a little career highlight here on the bottom left corner. Continuing to spin it around, guys, you do have both their names again, like you see on the top of the box with their names, Shinsuke and Brett, the Hitman Heart. And that is it for the packaging, guys. I really like the way they look. I love the size of the boxes. They have a real nice ultimate feel to them, if you get what I'm saying. But we're not my collectors, right? We don't like to keep them in the box. We gotta let these hoes breathe. We gotta pose them around, get the feeling, see what they're about, and pop these hoes out of their packaging. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and do that. So here is Shinsuke Nakamura and Bret the Hitman Hart out of their packaging. Guys, looking very, very nice up at the first glance that I am getting of these guys. They felt pretty good in the hand. I'm very excited to dive deeper into the figures, taking a closer look at each one themselves. I can't say that I do already have some gripes about it, but we will cover that in this video. But what we're going to do first, guys, is take a closer look at Bret Hart's accessories and Bret Hart, and then we will cover Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories and Shinsuke Nakamura. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We do pay a little bit more for these accessories figures, so it is right that they give us a pretty good amount of accessories with these Ultimate Edition action figures. So for this portion of the video, guys, I did go ahead and remove his jacket and head scan to throw in here so that we can take a look at all of his accessories that he comes with straight out of the packaging. So I guess we can go ahead and get started, guys. In the packaging, he does come with this head scan right here, one of three head scans. And you will see here, they, they I don't know why Mattel does this, but they always give us a Bret the Hitman Heart head scan with his bangs covering his face. And I honestly, it's not terrible, but it totally does hinder the way the figure looks. I think that this does resemble Bret Hart, but you can't even see it really because the hair is so thick in his face. His hair did get in his face, but I don't think it was this thick. You know, it was thinner than this, and it's hard to replicate in figure form, so I may take some scissors and just snip it out of his eyes a little bit. I don't know. We'll just have to see about that, but I do like this head scan. The next head scan that we do have is this one, and it is a smiling Bret Hart. Same sort of hair mold there. It does have the likeness to Bret Hart. I cannot lie. It does look like Bret Hart. However, I'm not a big fan of the of the things come you know the bangs just filling up his forehead there maybe you could like pull him off a little bit but now i have a little extra skin there I, I don't know maybe just ruin the figure and then this one is my favorite it's sort of that pissed off not giving a crap bret hart face and i really like this one i like the way it's just solemn i just like the way this one looked just reminds me of bret hart you know that pissed off just get the hell out of my face attitude that he had there i really like this bret hart head scan this is definitely my favorite of the three but if you wanted to pop it on the figure i'm going to demonstrate it here for you guys you just kind of plop it on the head scan here you plug it in and just like that and you know you pose it around ditzy ditzy do and then you're done with that head scan you want to switch it out you just pop it off like so go to the next head scan and plop this one on very very simple you know I was afraid I'd be snapping neck pegs and stuff but it is pretty easy to do they go on there nicely and they look great so it's pretty easy to pop the head scans in and out so that is the head scan portion of the accessories next up guys you do get some interchangeable hands three pairs of interchangeable hands we've seen these fists before I think these this is the same Seth Rollins skin tones. We've seen these hands before. It's the interchangeable hands that we get with Seth Rollins. We got some fists. We get some open hands, which are already in the jacket sleeves that he came with out of the packaging. And we get these wide open going for handshakes or, you know, like come and get some or freaking you could do the discount double check. You could do the hands wide open, like come and give me a hug. All kinds of different stuff you can do with these. I think these just came with the Elite Series 69 Ricochet and they're I think they're pretty oversized. I think uh, things were going around online talking about how big 
they are. And maybe that was just with the ricochet because this doesn't look too, too bad the way I'm looking at it. I mean, the fingers may be a bit long, but as far as the hand size is compared, it doesn't look too bad. Outside of the interchangeable hands, guys, we do get some Bret Hart glasses with a great sheen to them. I think we've only gotten these once ever, maybe with Defining Moments, Bret the Headman Hart. I could be wrong because I've never owned the figure, but it does look good. You got the, uh, the, the shimmer going over it. It's just a decal, I do believe, or a sticker going over this pink glasses mold, and I think it looks really good. I think that they did a fantastic job on this. I could be wrong. It may not have come with the Defining Moments Bret Hart, but I do like the way it looks here. Goes on the figure well and makes the figure pop off. And then, of course, with these Ultimate Edition figures, guys, we always get like an entrance gear, and this is what happens. You get the leather jacket right here, Bret the Hitman Hart's signature jacket, and what you do is you take your figure, you plop it over it just like this, I hate that it's rubber. I really wish they would just give us, instead of giving us interchangeable arms, just give us a really nice cloth jacket or something. I don't know. I think that would add to the figure. But you plop it over right here, and then you take the arms like so. You take this arm, which is the, you know, the way it was looking in the packages, and you just plug it in here. And then the other side, you do the same thing. You just plug that in right there. And there you go. You get the way he looked out of the packaging. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like these arms may be a bit loose. I'm not sure if the other ones look that way. We'll have to see in the next portion of the video because I'm going to review the figure itself with the plain arm so I'm not going to take a closer look at those at the moment but that I was just showing you guys how you interchange it and the, the only thing I have a problem with is this gap is right here. I'm not a big fan of this gap. Uh, you know when you're lifting up the arms there's a big gap here and you can't really see it too too much you know, when you're just uh, looking at the figure. Like, if you put his arms down by his side, you know, you can't really see it too, too much. But, uh, it, you know, it's in my head. I know it's there. You know, you can't hide it from me, Brad. I, I can see you, man. Night goggles. I can see you. But that is pretty much it for all of Brett the Hitman Hearts accessories, guys. Now that we've covered those, let's take a closer look at the Hitman himself. So take a closer look at Bret Hart himself, guys. You will see here that I did put the pissed off face on there. Just really like the way that one looks the most, I do believe. Going down into the body, we know we took a closer look at that head scan already. But taking a closer look at this torso, this is a new torso. We get the singlet mold. You know, we don't get the, the typical ab crunch that we would see on a WWE Elite figure. But uh, we will cover we'll cover the articulation in the, in the next segment of the video. But I really do like this attire. You got the black with the paint splatter and the pink and white. You know, pink's one of my favorite colors. You guys know it's one of the colors of my channel and it's the color this is the colors of MDT Live so you guys know how I feel about pink it really pops off and the contrast is so freaking nice I really like it here's what the wrestling portion of the arms look like on the figure you do have the elbow pads you got the double jointed you got the pink wrist tape it looks fantastic I love this pink stuff going on man I really do love the way the gear looks you have the pink bright effing pink man looks great on the figure I do get a little bit of fuzzy duzzy white stuff right here really don't like that I believe that's just some extra paint application right there that's not supposed to be there, unless that's supposed to be there, in which I'm a stupid idiot, but I don't think that's supposed to be there. Anyway, spinning it around, guys, you do have a great design. You got like a flame pattern going on with black. You get the nice stripes down the side. You get some skulls, some stars. You got the heart logo on the back here. On the butt cheek, you still got that flame pattern. All the paint splatter going around. I really do love this. I would love, to be honest with you, I'd love to buy another Ultimate Edition Bret Hart and do a torso switch with Adolph Ziggler so I could have, you know, these skulls, because it really just reminds me of Ziggler. Like, if you remove these hearts right here, then you have pretty Pretty much a Dolph Ziggler Elite Custom that you could make. Really easy stuff. Going down, you do have some pink knee pads, and then you have your signature Bret Hart boots, which are some of the best boots in the game. Some of my favorite wrestling boots of all time. But that is pretty much the Bret Hart, man. I mean, it looks just like any other except this brand new torso mold that we're getting with this guy. And now what we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and cover the articulation of Bret Hart, and then we'll get into some Elite Bret Hart comparisons. So as far as articulation goes with the head scan, guys, you can get some pretty good range out of it. You know, it's not nothing crazy. All of the head scans do have the same articulation. Believe me, I tried. You do get a little bit of head pivoting. I like the way that looks. As far as the ab crunch goes, he can go back that far, which isn't totally terrific. And then crunching forward, it's not that great either. If you guys wanted to do this, this is about how he looks. Uh, so see, he really can't lean forward that far. That's kind of disappointing. You do get some diaphragm pivoting right here. You can go side to side like this. You do get waist swivel. In the arms, you get bicep swivel. You can rotate 360 like so. You also get double jointed arms and the, the elbow pad is hindering the articulation so I'm going to slide that off just for this next portion of the video so you guys can see how epic the, the double jointed arms are. I really do love the double 
jointed arms. Again, I really want a Pete Dunn figure so that we can do the signature pose, but you guys can see he can touch it all the way to his face. He can grab his face. He can pull the bangs out of his face. He can get them out of there because they don't belong there. Rip them off. So there is how good the arms look, and I really like the mold. I wonder how it would do if you switch these arms out on a regular Elite figure. I wonder if they would fit. I'm sure they would, but uh, there is the arm articulation going into the legs. They are on ball joints, so you could switch them out if you wanted to for whatever reason. You get some really good widespread here. You can kick forward. You got the upper thigh cut, double jointed knees like we always see, and you get boot rotation. You do get ankle pivot, and you get a little toe pivoting there, which looks pretty good. You can go forward and back. I don't know why you'd do this. I don't know why. You know, nobody can bend their toes like that with boots on. Come on. But they look good nonetheless. And that is your Bret Hart Ultimate Edition articulation segment. But now that that's covered, guys, let's get into some Bret Hart Elite Figure comparisons. So taking a closer look at some Bret Hart figure comparisons, guys. Oh, shit. I don't even have any figures to compare it to. You traded your only Bret Hart Elite, and then you converted the other one into a Dolph Ziggler custom. What the hell's the, what the, hell's the matter with you? Well, geez, guys, I don't have any comparisons here. But anyways, we'll compare it to the rest of the Ultimate Editions when we get into Shinsuke Nakamura's comparisons. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories. So taking a closer look at Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories, guys, it's pretty much the same exact accessories that we get with Bret Hart. You get your entrance gear, your entrance arms, your regular arms, three head scans, and three interchangeable pair of hands. The only difference is that Shinsuke Nakamura doesn't come with any glasses. But diving right in, guys, you do get three interchangeable head scans, and this one right here is, oh my god! Honestly, guys, I'm not feeling this head scan the most. I don't know what it is about it. It does look a lot better in person, but when I first saw these images, I was like, what in the hell is this? It just, I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't capture Shinsuke's likeness. It doesn't look like Shinsuke Nakamura to me. It's not terrible in person. Like, it does look a lot better in person than it did in the images that I saw online, but I am not a huge fan of this head scan, but I will say, if you don't like it in images, I think you need to give it a shot in, you know, it's hard to say because you don't want to spend the money, get the head scan, and then you hate it, but I'm not a big fan of that head scan. I'm also not a big fan of this head scan either. I just feel like it loses the Shinsuke likeness. Like, this head scan right here, the third one, is the Elite Series 63 Shinsuke Nakamura head scan, and this one right here looks so much more like Shinsuke to me. Maybe the cheeks are could be thinned out a little bit more, but comparing these two, these don't even look like the same person. They look like to two totally different people. Am I the only one thinking that? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but this is definitely the best head scan, and you guys saw how we did with the Brett the Hitman Hart switching in those head scans, so I'm definitely going to put this onto the Shinsuke figure in the next segment of the video, but moving on, you get three interchangeable sets of hands, and he does come with his signature Shinsuke hands that we saw with the Elite Series 63 Shinsuke Nakamura. He comes with two interchangeable fists that we've seen 100 million 52 times, and out of the packaging, he did come with his open hands, which are my favorite. I like the I like the open hands the most because, you know, they have, they have so much you can do. You can do a fist with him. You can hold items. You can hold weapons. You can hold a microphone and all that stuff, so I like the open hands the best. And then we have his bare arms, which we will do in the next portion of the video. We'll plug these in, but you do get the gold look. This is his WrestleMania 34 attire. You get his signature bandana on there. And I think these are the exact same arm mold that we saw with the Bret the Hitman Hart, except they are slightly different skin tones. This is the Daniel Bryan skin tone, and the Bret Hart has the Seth Rollins skin tone. And just like Bret the Hitman Hart and Ronda Rousey, guys, he does come with an interchangeable jacket. Again, I think it would be really awesome to see them just go all out and give us like a cloth nice AF jacket, but take a look at it anyways. You do get nice sculpt on the front. You got the gold zipper. You got all the gold details going around. Gold rings on the shoulders there, and it does open up in the back like so, and you take your Shinsuke figure, and you plop it on the torso here, and then you have to plug in all these things in the back, which are really annoying, but I'll go ahead and do so for the video. So you plug all those in, and then you come over to the front. You take your entrance arms, and you plug them in just like we did on the Brett the Hitman heart figure. And you plug them in just like that, and then you have your entrance Shinsuke like we saw in the beginning. Or Michael Jackson Shinsuke, or whatever the hell you want to call him. But now that we've covered all of Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Shinsuke Nakamura himself. So taking a closer look at Shinsuke Nakamura, guys, we've seen this Elite Series 63 head scan before. It looks really good. I do love it. We do have the new torso here, and I do not know how to feel about it, man. I really do not. I mean, it kind of looks like Shinsuke's torso, but it kind of looks a little bit lean. I don't know. It just kind of looks odd. It reminds me of those old Jax figures that were 
you know, just really loosey-goosey. But uh, taking a closer look at it anyways, you guys see how it looks with the, the bare arms on there. You got the gold wristbands and the gold bandana around the arm there like we saw at WrestleMania 34. We also have the gold belt. You got the red pants like we've seen. This whole entire lower half we have seen with every Shinsuke Nakamura besides the feet, which we'll get into later. But uh, it does have some nice designs on the side. I wish that was sculpted or something. But it does have some good paint apps. You see the stripes going down. You got the little divots in there looking good all around. Really nice Shinsuke figure. I'm not sure how I feel about the torso though. I honestly do not know how to feel about it because you can't really crunch forward as much as I would like. Like, you can crunch back pretty good, but as far as forward goes, I just, I'm not feeling it. But here's the double jointed arms looking good. He can touch his face again. He can take his mouth guard out there. You get some nice little Shinsuke Nakamura poses. I really do like, you know, you can do the big E dancing yourself away. I really do love the double jointed arms, man. I would love to see that on, you know, every single figure that we get. I think it would take this line over the top. But go ahead and get it into the articulation, guys. The head scan is pretty much the same as Bret Hart. You get a little bit of pivot. As far as crunching forward, you can't crunch forward that back. You can go backwards a little bit. Uh, the arms you guys just saw, he is double jointed. He can grab his whole face there. He can do all kinds of stuff. I love the double jointed arms, man. I would love to see it on every figure we get. He can spread out that far. He is on ball joints again. You can kick forward a little bit. He can't kick back that much because of the butt cheek flap. You get the upper thigh cut, double jointed knees like we always see. In the toes, it's the same thing. You get the toe point articulation there. Ankle pivot, all the good jazz like we saw with Bret Hart. So as far as articulation, guys, I mean, the Ultimate Edition is pretty much the exact same. But now that we've covered Shinsuke Nakamura, guys, let's take a closer look at some Shinsuke Nakamura figure comparisons. So taking a look at some Shinsuke Nakamura figure comparisons, guys, you can't see the Ultimate Edition here. We have my custom defining moment Shinsuke Nakamura where I just took the first ever Shinsuke Nakamura figure and I painted over the wristbands and the, the bandana and the belt to give me the WrestleMania 34 look, which is what this figure is based on. We have the Elite Series 57 Shinsuke, the Target Exclusive NXT Series 2 Shinsuke, and the most recent Shinsuke Nakamura Elite that we have gotten is the Elite Series 63, which definitely has the best head scan. So up next all of these, what do you guys think? Do you like the newer torso mold for Shinsuke, or do you like the older version? Also, I think it would have been cool to see a newer head scan with this, three new head scans for this Ultimate Edition, but I can't understand reusing the Elite 63 since it is so nice, and they did throw in two more, and we got three with Bret Hart, but since we got three with Bret Hart, wouldn't it have been cool to see, you know, three more new ones with Shinsuke? And here we have all four Ultimate Edition action figures from Mattel thus far. We have Series 1 Ronda Rousey on the left, Series 1 Ultimate Warrior on the right, Second Wave's Bret Hart and Shinsuke here, and comparing all four, which one is the best, guys? I would still say Ronda Rousey. I love the Ronda Rousey. It is just so epic with those double-jointed arms and knees when we've never gotten them from the women's figures before. I mean, that figure is just over the top. And this is kind of how I would rank them from greatest to worst. You have Ronda, Brett, Shinsuke, and then Ultimate Warrior. But that pretty much wraps it up for this 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition figure review on the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Series 2 Shinsuke Nakamura and Brett the Hitman Hart. Overall, I really do like both of these figures. I'm still not too sure about the torsos, though. You know, I'm really not a big fan of them. I don't think that they give us too much more articulation, if at all any. But I do like the way they make the figures look. You know, they, they are visually pleasing. The double jointed arms are always amazing. And if you're a big Bret Hart or Shinsuke Nakamura fan, I definitely do recommend both of these. They're definitely the best of their kind. They both have nice attires. They both have great accessories. You get the sunglasses. You get the entrance gear. You get all of the interchangeable parts. And you go over to ringside. You use the promo code MDTOYS to save some money. They are definitely worth the pickup. But I will say that as far as Ultimate Edition figures goes, I still think that Ronda Rousey is the best thus far. I am ranking Ronda Rousey number one. I put Bret Hart at number two, Shinsuke Nakamura at number three, and Ultimate Warrior ultimately at number four. I cannot wait to see where the rest of this wave goes. I can't wait to see when we get Rollins or Balor or other guys like that. Maybe a John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's definitely a lot of guys that could be made, and I cannot wait to see what we get. I think we're supposed to get eight or so within this year, including me, so I think we're getting six more Ultimate Editions before the end of the year. I could be wrong about that, but I could have sworn that I heard Bill say it. I guess we'll have to find out at San Diego Comic-Con, though, guys. On July 18th in San Diego Comic-Con, we are going to find out what other figures we're going to be getting in this wave. Who will be in Series 3? I cannot wait to find out, and hopefully we will come San Diego Comic-Con. But that is going to do it for this 2-in-1 figure review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment down below what you think of the Bret Hart and the Shinsuke figures. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.